So in this video, I want to cover the basics of calculating uh, trigonometric derivatives. Um, so which will allow us to take the derivative of a function like the one that you see here. Um, so the, very, the most basic thing you need to know is what the trig derivatives are. Um, so the derivative of sine x is cosine x. The deriv derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. Um, the derivative of secant x is secant x times tangent x. The derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x cotangent x. The derivative of tangent x is secant squared x. And the derivative of cotangent x is negative cosecant squared x. Okay, so <clears throat> let's take a derivative here. So in this case, I can see I'm going to have to use the quotient rule. Um, the difference rule and here we have the constant multiple rule and we've got a couple trig functions in there um, so y prime in this case is equal to um, we have the let's see the uh, bottom function times the derivative of the top function minus uh, the top function times the derivative of the bottom function and all of that should be over the bottom function squared. So tangent x squared, I can write using this notation. Um, and then I have minus 3 times the derivative of cosecant x, which we just learned is negative cosecant x cotangent x. Okay, so I'm just going to finish taking my derivatives. Um, so y prime is equal to tangent x uh, times e to the x, because it's der the derivative of itself. Uh, the derivative of tangent x is secant squared x, and all of this over tangent squared x, and here minus a negative, so that gives me plus 3 cosecant x cotangent x. And then you can, um, if you want, you could factor out um, the factor of e to the x that it appears in both terms. Um, so I'm just going to do that really quickly. And that concludes taking the my first trig derivative here. Okay. Um so let's do one more example. So if I want to find the derivative of f with respect to x of this function, um, you can take a quick take a quick look at it, and I can see here I'm going to be using I'm going to need the product rule, and I'm going to need the product rule here too, and the sum rule here, and you can see there's three trig functions there, um, so we'll be using our trig derivatives. So let's start finding the derivative of f with respect to x. Um, so I'm going to look at this as my if I look at this as the product of functions, I'm going to look at this as uh, f, okay, or one of my functions, and this is my uh, second function in the product. And then I'll look at this uh, 5x squared as one function and secant x as the other function. So let's get started. Um, so I'm going to take df dx, so I'm going to uh, 2 sine x times the derivative of cotangent x plus cotangent x times the derivative of 2 sine x and then I'm going to add this, and now I'm going to work on this guy. Um, so I'm going to have 5x squared times the derivative of secant x plus, okay, and then we have uh, secant x times the derivative of 5x squared. Okay, and now I just have to go through and take my derivatives. So df dx is equal to 2 sine x times, and the derivative of cotangent x is negative cosecant squared x. Um, the derivative of 2 sine x is just 2 cosine x. And the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. Um, and then I have secant x um, okay, and then I have to add secant x times the derivative of 5x squared, which is 10x. And I'm running out of space here, but that is my derivative. Um, and I can clean this up a little bit. 
uh, so I have df dx is equal to negative 2 sine x times cosecant squared x plus 2 uh, cotangent x cosine x uh, plus 5 x squared secant x tangent x uh, plus 10 x secant x. Okay, and I hope I didn't make any little mistakes there, but that's my derivative. Okay, so you can see it's pretty much as, you know, as long as you remember your trig derivatives, um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so one thing I want, I did want to say something about how to remember the trig derivatives. You know, I, I think the best way to remember them is just t practicing a lot, taking lots of derivatives, and it starts to feel like second nature. Uh, you'll just sort of remember them automatically. Um, one thing that always helps me, though, is to remember that they structurally, they come in um, pairs. Uh, in the sense that um, the the form of the derivatives um, looks similar in these three pairs. So here we have cosine and sine. Um, <clears throat> and in this case, secant x tangent x has a similar stru structure to cosecant x cotangent x. And secant squared x has a similar structure to cosecant squared x. Um, that, that helps me sort of remember what's going on. The, the, the function and its co-function uh, have the similar structure. Um, the other thing that really helps me is n remembering that the, the functions that start with co, like cosine, cosecant, cotangent, or in other words, the functions that start with C, those are exactly the ones that are um, negative, okay? So, <clears throat> and one thing you can do is if you, um, let's say you totally forget, you can't remember any of the trig derivatives other than the derivative of sine is cosine, and the deri derivative of cosine is negative sine, uh, one thing that you can always do is use the quotient rule. So for example, um, I know that, let's say I forget the derivative of tangent x. Well, I know that tangent x is equal to sine of x over cosine x. And now I can use the quotient rule. So I can say, oh, this is going to be equal to my bottom function times the derivative of my top function minus, um, and then I have my top function times the derivative of the bottom function all over cosine squared, which can be written as the cosine with the two right there. Um, now I take my derivatives and I have cosine x times cosine x minus sine x uh, times negative sine x over cosine squared x. And this is equal to cosine squared x plus sine squared x over cosine squared x. And using a trig identity, the um, Pythagorean identity, the numerator is just equal to 1. The denominator is still cosine squared x. Um, so I can rewrite this as 1 over cosine x times 1 over cosine x. And so you can see that this is secant squared x. So it's secant x times secant x. So, you know, it's a lot, takes a lot more time than just looking at this guy, remembering what this derivative is. But you can see that if I for completely forget my trig derivatives, as long as I remember these two, I can always use the quotient rule um, to figure out the other trig derivatives.